I was changing your diapers since you was eight years old, and now you're running out on me. Okay, just forget about it. I got a couple of deliveries to make, and then I'm gonna go over to Janet's and give her the ring. Already so soon? I'll see you later, Pop. Oh, no. He's really gonna do it. And I'll be all alone. I'll have to sell the house and move out. I can see it now. Old man living here in California with nothing to do. But sit on the back porch and drink orange juice with Bing Crosby and his families. <laughs> I, I can't let him do that to me. I just can't. Just a minute, Janet. Uh, come in, dear. Listen, I don't care how much Lamont owes you. Don't be bothering me about it. Good day. Hello, Mr. Sanford. Oh, hi, Janet. Come and sit down, darling. Uh, can I get you something? No, thank you. Lamont should be here any time now. We're going to go out and have dinner. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help overhearing that phone conversation. Is Lamont OK? Oh, nothing to worry. You're a pretty little head about. Fine, good. It's just that Lamont owes a huge pile of money at the liquor store. And if you, and if you don't pay it, they're going to kill him. What? <laughs> but don't worry about it. Last money he owed him money, too. And somehow he, he paid him. Uh, by the way, uh, that was the same month all the children in the neighborhood got mugged and had to go to school without their milk money. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought you knew. Knew what? That Lamont was a heavy drinker. A what? And a heavy gambler. A drinker and a gambler. Sometimes he bets on how much he can drink. Mr. Sanford, I think you're... I guess I shouldn't be surprised that, that he didn't tell you. He, Lamont's so ashamed about it. He don't want anybody to know. That's why he belongs to AA. Anonymous, anonymous. I don't really believe... But look, don't worry, Janet. He'll make you a good husband. Just always hide your purse at night. And if you smoke, hide your lighter fluid, because he'll drink that too. And he, see, I even have to lock up my own liquor here at home. Can I tell you something? I know just what you're going to say, honey. I know exactly what you're going to say. But look, if you change your mind about marrying Lamont because you find out about him drinking and gambling like that. Drinking and gambling? It's OK, Lamont. I understand. Excuse me, man. Hey, wait a minute. It's gone. The ring is gone. Where's the ring? Well, don't ask me. You probably sold it and, and, and then spent the money at the Kentucky Derby on some Kentucky bourbon. What are you talking about? He, he probably doesn't remember. See, Lamont has those blackout spells where he forgets everything. Pop! Last year, he disappeared, and we found him in Denver with a hoochie-coochie dancer from, from, from Durango. Mr. Sanford, would you come over here and sit down, please? We'd like to talk to you. Over there? Mm-hmm. What'd you do that for? Because I love you. Huh? And I love you because you love your son so much. Well, listen, I, I, I don't know. We knew what you were trying to do, Pop. I know Lamont is not a heavy drinker or a gambler. Yeah, but I forgot to tell you, he, 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 he's a burglar and an arsonist. <laughs> and in the morning, he needs a gallon of mouthwash before he can say hello. Mr. Sanford, you love Lamont so much that you're terribly afraid of his moving out. Now, that's why you're making up these stories, isn't it? Well... When Lamont and I get married, you're not going to lose his love. That's right, Pop. In fact, you're going to be getting a family that loves you very much. Me, Roger, and maybe even our child. Already? <laughs> <laughs> you sly dog. <laughs> no, Pop, that's not what she means. Now, look, this isn't the end. It's the beginning, man, of a whole new way of life for all of us. We love you very much, Pop, and with all that love, you'll never be alone. 